Why I prefer Total War over Paradox games. I've gotten a lot of comments regarding my stance on certain Total War games and mods where I talk about how much I enjoy constructing buildings and building up my kingdom slowly, which is why I appreciate mods that slow things down a bit to allow the player more time to enjoy this process. It's just the way I personally approach the game. This is not to say I don't enjoy the real-time battles. Of course I do. It's just that I also appreciate when the games place a good amount of emphasis on the campaign aspects as well as the battles. This is not to say that this is the only way I enjoy these games. One of my favorite Total War games is undoubtedly Shogun 2, which absolutely places more focus on the battles than the building aspect. I'll talk about that more in another video. In any case, I've seen a lot of people say, well, go play Paradox games if you like the campaign more than the battles. Here is my response. I don't dislike Paradox games. On the contrary, I enjoy them quite a bit. However, I definitely prefer Total War to Paradox games, without a doubt. Why is that? It is so easy to get lost in a Paradox game. I really enjoy Imperator, Stellaris, and Crusader Kings 3. Being a historian, I love feeling immersed in a game about the Roman or medieval periods and trying to strategize my way to the top. These games definitely do a great job at nailing the atmosphere. But they are missing something for me. I definitely understand understand it when people talk about feeling like they're playing with spreadsheets when playing a paradox game. A lot of things are not visible on the map and are not quite obvious until you explore menus. I don't dislike this aspect at all. It definitely gives you a sense of discovering something when you find something new, uh, but after a while, for me personally, it gets a little bit tedious. It also makes the world feel a bit flat to me. Something Total War does great, in my opinion, is make the game feel 3D. It gives the game more personality, in my opinion. The map feels more alive. Additionally, I don't like the way battles play out in Paradox games. I appreciate the macro aspect of them, and it is very cool. But I find managing armies to be rather tedious and constantly pausing and checking where your armies are and forgetting, and in any case, they're just not my favorite aspect of games like Imperator or Crusader Kings. In Total War, nothing really feels tedious to me since the battles feel like a totally different game almost. The battles give you a break from the turn-based campaign. Speaking of turn-based, I also like the turn-based aspect a lot. As someone who is constantly getting messages and needing to respond and multitask all the time, I hate the fact that I have to hit the pause button, which of course I sometimes forget to do, in Paradox games, which are all real-time. I suppose all of this leads to the question, why? Well, the first strategy game I ever played and spent a ton of time on was Civilization IV. I love Civilization games. I even released a few mods for Civ 4 back in the day. I loved playing as historical civilizations, researching technologies, developing land, building up my cities, constructing new cities, discovering new lands. Civilization is just everything I like all wrapped into one. However, Civilization was missing a little something for me. And that thing is its ability to represent historical situations and warfare. In terms of how wars work in civilization, it's very, very abstract and feels more like... I suppose it feels more like Nintendo's Advance Wars series rather than actual realistic battles. Uh, don't get me wrong, I put hundreds of hours into both Civilization and Advance Wars as a kid, but the historian in me wanted something more. That thing was the historical representation, the accurate maps, the ability to create not just accurate campaign maps, but also accurate armies that fight in at least somewhat realistic ways that you can control. Medieval Total War and Rome Total War 
were exactly what I was looking for 14 years ago. I'm not saying that Total War battles aren't abstractions. Indeed, if you go and look up what the armies of medieval Japanese daimyo warlords look like, uh, they don't look anything like what's depicted in Shogun 2. However, it's at least an attempt at simulating actual historical battles and giving the player that control. Now, Rome Total War's depiction of battles and the game in general was uh, very cartoony in my opinion. I definitely preferred the original medieval Total War's depiction. The funky unit rosters, uh, the color palette, the fairly inaccurate campaign map, all of those things were detrimental to my enjoyment of Rome Total War when I first fired it up. Being acquainted with the Civilization mod scene, I thought that perhaps somebody else might have noticed that the city of Artaxata was present in a game that starts in 270 BC, which, as a historian, hurts me deeply. The first mod I ever tried was Rome Total Realism Platinum Edition. This mod fixed quite a few of my issues with the game, and it is definitely one of those classic mods that I will review at some point. However, even that wasn't enough for me. Rome Total Realism did fix the unit roster issue, at least in large part. The campaign map was more accurate and more epic, and the color palette was a lot less cartoony. However, it still wasn't perfect for me, and I did still notice some oddities in the game, some strange unit roster decisions, as well as the fact that the city of Artaxata was still present on the map. I needed more. That's when I found Europa Barbarorum, perhaps the peak of how historically accurate a Total War game can get. I know I've gone off on a bit of a tangent. In any case, I hope that this video has served as a sort of explanation for why I prefer Total War to Paradox games. As someone who has played a lot of Civilization and loves building, I just don't like the building aspect in Paradox games very much. You barely even notice when buildings are completed, I at least I, I rarely notice. I like Paradox games and I like Civilization games a little more, but I feel like Total War combines the best aspects of those series and adds the unique real-time battles that give it that special something that I appreciate so much. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe for more content about the historical Total Wars and their mods, including reviews, gameplay videos, previews, and discussions. Thanks again.